hi everyone we're just gonna wait for a few more seconds for a few more folks to join us and I'm gonna flash that actually hi how's everybody doing so maybe we'll start in a few more seconds So what you are looking at right now on the screen is Georgia O'Keeffe's Petunias, painted in 1925, which is in our permanent collection at the De Young Museum, American Art. All right, so we are gonna get started. Um, thank you all for joining us today. This is our first ever De Youngsters live studio, um, where we bring you guided art activities from home, at home. So my name is PJ Policarpio. I'm the Youth Development Manager at the Fine Arts Museums of San Francisco, where I welcome teens and young adults to connect and engage with the museums in a variety of ways. And today we are going to make, be making these pressed flower cards and envelopes, of course, to send to your friends and loved ones during this time, inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe's Petunias, which you're looking at, um, which is a real highlight in our American art collection at the De Young Museum. Um, as you can see, the painting is um, kind of a zoomed in view of about uh, roughly six flowers, um, petunias, uh, in deep kind of colors um, and kind of floating on a gray and white background. So that's kind of what is gonna inspire our art making today. It's made by Georgia O'Keeffe, who is um, a famous um, American artist known for her paintings of large, enlarged flowers like this one, as well as uh, New York skyscrapers and also um, landscapes in New Mexico later on. So we are gonna be looking at that um, today. And um, yeah, so first we will be um making the pressed flowers and then we'll make the cards and then we'll make the envelope and then um and then we can send them off so this will roughly take about 15 to 20 minutes so um so let's get started um so what i really wanted to do was really think about um artwork in our collection that um you know really um, provided some sort of calm or some sort of beauty and joy during this time. And so that's why I was really drawn to um, George O'Keeffe's Petunias. Um, so now I'm gonna show you how to press your flowers. So um, some of the different materials that we'll need um, today include um, fresh flowers. These I just picked um, on my walk this morning. So, you know, you can look around that, the house. Um, I also have, so I'm just gonna move this paper. I also have um, ruler, a glue, uh, scissors, some paintbrush um, to use for the glue and the glue stick here. So I have a lot of different materials here. Um, pencils, of course, and different writing um, materials just to kind of add on to our card. And also, I have a stack of paper here that I like to use. And then I have old cards that were mailed to me, which will come in handy in a little bit, and I'll tell you why. Um, and I also have tweezers, um, and I'll tell you what we'll need this for. So again, just ruler, scissors, different kind of glue and glue stick, paintbrush, small ones, and different kinds of um, writing and um, markers and things like that. So we're gonna put that aside. Um, I'm just going to show you briefly how to press your flowers. So I have these flowers here. It's hard to tell because they're white, but 
of these fresh flowers here. So what you'll need is two sheets of paper and it's just, you know, regular copy paper will work. I um, mean, this is really just to protect your books, which is what we'll use to kind of press the flowers. So what I like, um, these are what I found this morning, but um, they're kind of cool um, white flowers. So um, you want what you want to do is you want to cut um, the stem in an angle and you want to take out any extra kind of leaves. So you can actually just kind of press it with a stem on it. Um, but I also like to press it just with the, the head. So this is how you can do that. So you just take it off just like that. So you just have that. And I like to um, have it face down towards the paper. So I'm gonna do a few more. You wanna kind of spread it out on the sheet so that it's not, it doesn't get too close or too crowded. So I'm gonna do a few more of that here. And what I like about working with fresh flowers is that um, Georgia O'Keeffe herself was inspired by the fresh flowers that she found in her garden um, in upstate New York. Um, she was surrounded by lots of different flowers and lots of different, um, you know, plants, including petunias. And she really want, was inspired um, by the flowers, but she didn't want to paint them in a kind of realistic way or in a way that shows, you know, their actual um, kind of look, but she wanted to kind of represent the essence and kind of the, the, the beauty and the details in the flowers, which is why she really wanted to paint them um, enlarged and, and zoomed and up close. So if you look at um, her flower paintings, you can see, you can tell that it looks like they're kind of um, zoomed in or through a magnifying glass, which was really how it, you know, moved her work into um, something close to abstraction or something that's modern or new at that time. So now I have my flowers here kind of on my paper. It's hard to tell. Can you see that? But they're fl lying flat on the sheet. And then I'm going to put the other layer just on top of the, the other paper. I'm just going to kind of do that. And then I'm going to take a book that I have here and I'm just gonna put that in. So we're gonna put that in. Usually, um, if you really wanna take your time, it can take up to three weeks or even longer to like have a really dried pressed flowers that you can really um, use into multiple you know different ways like bookmarks or cards or just to display or notes so you might want to you know do that but we don't have three weeks I didn't have three weeks to get started so we're gonna get that um, you know you can just use it as you go um, so now I have my press flowers in here and I'm gonna take a few more books I have a lot of um, big heavy duty books and catalogs here so we're gonna take a few more of these books um, and put it on top so that we can put this away and then you can kind of just put that on the side all right so that is the pressed flower so now we're gonna move into making our cards so for this, you'll need, you know, all the different materials that I mentioned earlier. Um, and you can also use different kinds of paper. So um, I have this uh, clean white sheet of paper that just came from my stack of paper. And I also found these really fun um, uh, shopping bags from the museum store which I kind of like the color so you can you know use whatever you have at home any kind of paper that you have and um, this is four by six and I just used 
an old note card that I have. So you can see I used an old note card that I have to kind of base the size of it. So it's similar size. So this is kind of, you know, a standard, um, standard size. So, um, so I have two cards here. I'm gonna try and send two cards to two different friends that I have. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out some of the um, flowers that I've already pressed since last week and I have a few different options just because I had different things around me then um, and you know so when I think about that this is also a good time to maybe start thinking about who you want to send the card to what kind of message you want to share um, and also kind of you know think about each of their characters and how that might um, translate into your card you know what they're into what they like um, I have different kinds of paper that I'm, I'll be using to add on to the flowers so here are some of the flowers that I've already pressed and dried from a few weeks ago so there's all different kinds I have this kind of purple one and you'll see that the tweezers will be really handy for this one because that's what you'll use to kind of pick up some of the flowers. Uh, you can see once they're dried up, you can really, um, you know, they get really sensitive and really um, soft. So you wanna use the tweezers to kind of gently pick them up. All right, so these are the flowers. I'm gonna put them on the side. Um, I'm gonna think about my friends. I'm gonna think about um, who I'm going to send this card to um, and also I want to think about kind of the composition how I want the flowers to look you know really thinking about where I want each each of the flowers really thinking about the um, the people I'm sending them to kind of what are their favorite colors what do they like so you know you can really personalize it which I think is a really um, important way for us to kind of stay connected especially during this time when um, we can't leave the house but you know other than kind of connecting via the screens or zooms this is really one way that you can show um, you know that you care for people so I'm gonna get started I'm gonna kind of put some paper in first just to kind of switch it up before I put the pressed flowers so I have kind of really different kinds of scraps and colorful paper here just to get it started. And then this one is yellow, so I'm gonna go with a different color flower. So I might go with these, this purple one. This one's pretty cool, it's a little, so I'm gonna pick one here like that can everybody see that i'm going to just create that so there and what you're going to use is this is where the brush and the glue is really important because you want to what you want to do is cover the surface gently and you want to be able to use the glue to kind of you know make it uh, softer so the paintbrush really helps in doing that so I'm just gonna put a little bit of flour here so I'm gonna use this glue and then yeah and then the glue is also really important with the paintbrush to kind of you want to cover the whole surface of the flower so you want to kind of go over the flower just to make sure that it really sticks and similarly I put I left off a part of the kind of the stem here just for a little bit of detail and then I'm also gonna glue that but I'm gonna extend it with 
a marker. So I'm going to use... I'm going to use my marker to kind of extend the stem here. So you can definitely use that. All right, so there's one card and I'm going to add more details af after it dries up so there's one really simple one and then you're gonna let that dry I also like this kind of brown color this is again the reused materials and for this one I'm going to use some of these yellow flowers um, and I think black is a really great color to kind of offset the yellow so i'm gonna use a black sheet of paper on top just like that so this one i think is gonna kind of go like this um, and then you're gonna use your tweezers, remember, to kind of gently, well, I want to think about where I want the flowers. I kind of want them all over the space, so I'm just gonna find different spots to kind of get them started like that. Um, so I'm gonna take one flower here, one flower here, and then another one. So you see the the tweezers are really helpful. So you can do that. And then, so that's what they look like. And then you're going to want to cover the whole surface of the flower and this and the petals with your glue as well so just to kind of make it secure so we're gonna do that so you want to do this really gently because You can see some of the so the glue will dry up so you won't you won't really see it. But it's nice. There you go. So again, you wanna cover the whole surface with the glue. So now it looks kind of like that. And here's the other one that I worked on. And I will finish this off with more things. Like here are some of the other ones that I've done in the past. So you can, you know, really add different things. You can use markers and colored pencils, different materials to kind of enhance a little bit more. So you can add, you know, you can write things like, you know, let's see. So things like that, even like letters. I don't know if it shows up. So that's our card. So now I'm going to move into, so, you know, put them aside, leave, let them dry. And now we're going to move into the envelope, which is also really fun and really important. So um, what you'll need is another sheet of paper. Just... 
so I have Xerox paper or whatever you have is actually perfect because it's the perfect size so you'll need one and if you have an old um, envelope at home four by six you can just use that as your template so I'm going to just go along the fold here kind of the natural fold of an envelope then the top so yeah I really you know I think it's really important for us to to think about different ways of connecting um, especially at this time and I like that kind of things like making your own card and envelope can really go a long way and can really mean a lot to people so I think it's a fun activity so this is what I have here I'm going to mark off where you will need to cut I've never before this I've never made my own envelopes before because I usually just buy them you can get them but it's really cool to make your own so this is what the folds were I'm gonna cut these pieces on the corner so sometimes it's so easy to, you know, forget what you have access to, take, take for granted what you have easy access to, but it's also really cool to make things on your own. And sometimes challenging times really ask you to adapt and adjust and really get creative. So I think this is a great practice. So, now this is um, the shape that I have. I'm going to just fold it. And then on the flaps, I'm gonna go use my glue stick. And then I'm gonna press it in, bring it in. Just like that, can everybody see that? I'm gonna bring it in. And there you have the envelope, your envelope, homemade. Um, and what I like to do is I just like to cut the top here on an angle just to make it feel like it's the real thing. So there you go. So now you have your envelope and that fits your card perfectly. It's again, four by six standard. You know, if you have envelopes already, that's great. You can use that here. So I have some of my cards here. I have more envelopes here that I made. Here are the ones that are drying that we will be continuing. Um, I'm just gonna cut that part off. And so, so that, these are kind of still in progress um so that is our activity today um pressed flowers cards and envelope to send to your friends loved ones family um people you you know want to check in with so i think that's it for us today um thank you for joining me again um Come back every Friday morning, the Young Museum Live for more the Youngster Studio um, art making activities um, led by our amazing education team at the De Young Museum. Um, so come back um, and tell me who you send your cards to. So be in touch. Bye.